Come on, this game is so slow. Get over here. Go this direction. Come on. The heck is up? Well, I'm trying to play this game, but it's all slow. See, look at this. Everywhere I try to get him to move, he goes slow, the thing moves yeah. wrong. Aren't games supposed to be fun? <laughs> when they're working right, that's the idea. Yeah, that's, that's pretty bad. So, I, I don't know, what do I do with it? Well, I mean, how, is it just your game? Is your, has other things been acting Well, I don't know. This, I, well, I got the PC about a year ago. And I don't know, over time it's gotten a little slower, I guess. And especially when I'm online and doing things like playing a game, it's gotten a lot slower. Well, that's pretty choppy. I imagine you've got some, some stuff going on behind the scenes, things building up, files building up. You're, I think it's time to clean your computer up a little bit. Like, okay, so like what, while I'm in the game, clean it? What do you mean? No, clean it up <laughs> from the inside. You, got, you probably have a lot of files that have built up over time. You probably, I don't know, there could be other things running in the background. The more things you install. So you're saying it could more. be my fault? No, I'm, I'm not <laughs> trying to lay blame here. Okay, well, let's look and see. Let's see. I'll close this game. Let's find out. All right, well, I'm just going to close down these things then, get them out of the way so you can show me what I need to do next. Uh, well, you said it was getting slower when you were connecting to the Internet? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that, to me, uh, you want to be very cautious because there might be a virus on your computer. Okay, Viruses are bad. <laughs> yeah. Right, you, you want, do you have virus protection installed? Well, I'm pretty sure I do. I have a thing here, I think it's, it's called Microsoft Security Essentials. Yeah, I think this is it. That's, that's good. That's good because if you had a virus, right, your PC could potentially be infecting other people's PCs because if you have a virus, it'll want to copy itself to others on the Internet. So when you go to connect to the Internet, if your Internet gets really slow, it's because right. it's sending itself out trying to look for other computers to infect. But it looks like uh, your computer is protected, up to date, you've scanned recently. Well, I just let this thing go. You know, I just kind of, it just runs on its own. I never really scan it that's itself, good. it just does it. So hopefully I'm up to date, that's the idea, I think. Well, that's good. That's, I, that's what you but want. But does, you know, one thing I've always wondered is, I've heard of the like, adware, spyware, and you go online, you see all these people that I'm afraid they're probably giving me some kind of virus if I went to their site. But what are those things? Adware, spyware? Adware is just software that is, uh, it's paying for itself through advertising, meaning that when you connect to the internet, it goes down and downloads some advertisement. Uh, and that's what takes a little longer when you connect because it's downloading stuff. Spyware, though, is kind of one you want to be concerned about because it's software that uh, could potentially be sending other people your information. Oh, yeah, that's not good. So hopefully, right. so does this catch it or do I have to download some of Microsoft the utilities? Yeah, Microsoft Security Essentials is pretty good at catching that kind of stuff. Okay, so I'm scanned. It's not this that's causing my problem. This is green. I have green. Yes, you have green. <laughs> so go ahead and close that down. All right, so that one, I'm, I'm getting rid of that. So now. All right, and I noticed you said you closed the programs earlier. You right. didn't actually close them, you minimized them. Oh. Go ahead and bring them back up again. Yeah, I guess they're, yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I was just trying to get them out of the way, but they're, yeah, so I have this. Well, they're not really out of the way, right? Because they're st if they're still open, they're still taking up your system resources. Oh. Your system resources are valuable because every little, so every little bit of memory, right, that is being used by something else can't be used by that game you were playing. Oh, right. That's, That's true. why you were getting so frustrated, right? Right. Um, so go ahead to close them down. Click use the, the X. actual X. Yeah, okay. You have to yeah. actually close them down. Yeah, I guess I didn't close any of them. Let me see. All right. I think I'm closed now. Oh, yeah, but you still have a lot of stuff open. You don't right. really. So these things count too? I mean, they just, all this stuff counts? Yes, every little <laughs> bit. Every little bit counts. Any, All right. Everything that you see on the screen is taking up memory. I notice one in particular here, down in your systems tray. It looks mm -hmm. like you have peer-to-peer -peer sharing software. Yeah. File sharing software. Well, I like to download MP3s. What can I say? I like music. <laughs> okay. Well, that one in particular, when you have peer-to-peer -peer sharing software installed, if it's just sitting in the background running and you don't know about it. It's probably using up your internet to support, you know, other people's connections. Even when I'm not just downloading my own files? That's correct. That's the default status for most peer-to-peer -peer sharing software. So if it's on, is it on right now if it's down here? Does that mean it's running right now? Yes. Oh, I guess that's not a good thing. <laughs> well, not to, if you're not using it, then just, you know, uninstall it or... Shut it up. Shut like it down, I can prevent right -click it. it or something and oh. shut it off, just right click and close or something? Or? Well, it depends on the software. If you can shut it down from within the software's menu options, you like know, file, close. And by shutting something. it down, I mean actually preventing it from opening with Windows. 
Oh, so you mean like when I start Windows, it's coming on and loading then? Correct. That's when most of these types of things start. Like I notice here you have right, all like this an stuff HP. up here. Yeah, this yes. just, just comes in as part of my desktop when I load in. Right. And so going into the options and preventing them is the best way. All right. So how do I do that opening. so I don't have to just keep closing them every time it opens up? Because I could click the X, but what do I do to stop it? Well, I mean, it depends on the software. The best method, though, is to go in the, into the software's menu options. And if there's an option in there for preventing the software from opening, use it. Okay, but um, if it's not. But you can also use Microsoft uh, Configuration Utility. Okay, so MS. MS Config. Okay, yeah, you know, I think that's familiar. I used that a long time ago. I was told by a friend of mine that I can make my PC start faster mm -hmm. if I remove startup items. Is that what we're talking about here? These are startup items? That's what items? you're doing. You're in okay. so, so you just type MS Config into the search line. There you go. All right. Uh, one thing that I like to do is just go right to Diagnostic Startup. That will prevent all of your startup items from loading. And then if you click the Startup tab. Okay, yeah, when I did this, I had done Selective Startup, and I went through and chose, like, what I wanted to start with it or what I didn't want and things right. like that. Right, it depends. That. You could do it either but way. I'm trying Diagnostic, okay. Diagnostic removes, it just prevents everything from starting. Just hit your Startup tab, there you go. Oh, so yeah, oh, there's nothing checked. Right, yeah, when so I now did you it, just go through and check the ones that you know and want. Okay. And you can make that a little wider so that you can um, actually read what it is. Oh, there gotcha. You go. Okay. Go ahead and I would, I would keep Microsoft Security Essentials. You know you want that, right? Because that's your virus. And uh, what about services? Uh, oh, it removes all those too. Services. There's a little button down there called Hide All Microsoft Services. I'd recommend doing that. Um, just because if you prevent some of those essential services from starting, you might have problems, oh, such so. as your audio. Right. Yeah. You well, just, I don't want to shut off the sound. Yeah. <laughs> right. And that's exactly what will happen in this. So you need to go through and make sure you get the right things. Yep. So right here, I probably want my game console because I think that's the game I was playing. So I'll probably check that. Mm -hmm. All right. So I just click apply and go from there. So what right if it's... Also, look here. There's one in there called NVIDIA Display Driver Service. You uh, might okay. want to have that. That's your graphics card. Okay. It's related to your graphics card. So if I click apply and I start this all up and it comes back and it's not like the way I want it. <laughs> so you can come back in here and then put it back to the way it was. Okay. So I just click here and just do that again. Like go back and change some of these startup items mm -hmm. or something. And okay. you notice that now it's switched over to selective startup. Oh, because I made selections because in you there. you added selections. That's correct. Gotcha. Okay. So whatever I do here, it's not going to kill my PC. I can just come back and add some more checkboxes in and do mm -hmm. it again to get it Or just put it back to normal startup to, be, to bring it back to the way it was. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, I'll just click Apply then. Mm -hmm. And then OK. OK. It's going to want you to restart your computer. Right. Okay. And then restart. All right. All right. So we're back. It's restarted. Yep. You notice a lot of things are missing now. Things yeah. That weren't that were there before that aren't there now. Missing They're my little media center thing so, here. Right. So all of those programs were once taking up, you know, your valuable memory that your game could be using. Now they're not there taking up memory. But while we're here, you should, you should go ahead and uh, uninstall the things that you're not using anymore to give you more disk space. Okay. So I like this program here. I've, you know, some of these icons, they come on the desktop. I've never done anything with them. Is like that what you mean? Just well, remove stuff like sure, if programs you don't want I don't want? Yeah, if you don't want it, you don't use it, uninstall it. All right, so I just put it in the recycle bin. Okay, that um, did something. Yeah, that did something. It moved <laughs> it into the recycle bin, but it didn't uninstall the program. So all, oh. all the hard drive space is still taken up by that program still being there. Okay. So you need to actually go into the Windows uninstaller. So throwing it away isn't getting rid of it. Okay, so I, no. okay, what do I do then? You've just removed the desktop icon. Go to click start. And then go to Control Panel. That's where the uninstaller is. And then under Programs, you see Select Uninstall a Program. Okay. There you go. And so you I look in here for that program. Go through the list. Oh, there it is. What you want. All right. And then I just click Uninstall on it. Yep. And then follow the screens. All right. So just click Yes and follow what's in there. Yep. Okay. So that's going to uninstall as that goes through here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's so then what? I've uninstalled the programs. Well, you've uninstalled a program. There's a lot more programs in the list. You could just go through here and go shopping. Um, there are some that are more important than others. Uh, like, for example, if you see one in there called Python, don't uninstall it because that's a script that HP puts on some of its PCs. 
Other than that, if you're not using the software program, just uninstall it. You'll get your you'll get a lot of important um, hard drive space back. Okay. Um, also, you'll have these things called temporary files. You mentioned that your computer was getting slower over time. Right. So if you have your temporary file directory, this is the directory where software programs will temporarily install files while they're installing themselves. But a lot of times those files are left behind. And if, that, if the files kind of build up over time or get too many, then it takes a lot longer for things to install and for other software programs that use that directory. It's like plaque buildup or something. <laughs> it keeps exactly. building up so, over time. So okay. brush your teeth, brush your computer's <laughs> teeth um, by going in and removing that. Microsoft has a great tool called the Disk Cleanup Utility. Okay. That gets rid of a, a lot of temporary files. All right, so uh, let's clean up these disks. What yeah. do I do? I'm assuming I'm clicking start and <laughs> going somewhere. You assume correctly. You okay. go, except the disk cleanup utility, you want to click start, then go up to accessories. Okay. Find see. accessories from the start menu oh, right there. there. It is. Okay. Okay, and then go down to system tools. All right. And in there you should see disk cleanup. Ah, there it is. Yeah. And I just select my C drive. That's the drive I'm on. Uh, okay. Unless you have multiple drives. Oh, and it's, it's doing stuff easy. already. It's scanning for something. It's calculating right now. Yeah, if it's right now, it's going through and it's looking at all of the different types of uh, directories and what files are in there. So it's trying to find, this is, this is trying oh. to find the source of the plaque. <laughs> yeah. So if you look through here, now, it's going to give you some recommendations, some of them that are already selected. Off to the right, you'll see that it lists the amount of space that you can gain by cleaning them up. And if you look, right. there's 13.9 megabytes oh, wow. by cleaning up the temporary files. There's thumbnails, there's setup files, things like that. Wow, this so one's actually pretty clean, but you can, get, you can get back 14 megabytes of space by leaving that check. Get chip. rid of that temporary stuff. Okay, so I just checked the things that I want it Correct. to clean out. Yeah, you notice recycle bin's one of them. Uh, so go ahead and select the ones that you want, and All right. just click OK. And click OK. Mm -hmm. Are, Are you sure? sure? Yes. You're okay, sure. I want to delete the files. Okay. All right, so looks like the files are all gone. We've wiped all that stuff out, the temporary files and all that. Yeah, yep. you're getting closer. All right, but so I'm not done? Well, you got to ask yourself, are you a hardcore gamer? I want a game to work well. As you saw, I don't all do right, well so when they don't. To better blow the brains out of your zombies or whatever it is you're doing, right? Then you can go in and adjust Microsoft's visual properties, okay. right? The visual settings, because uh, I guess there's a lot of things that goes on in Windows: the smoothing of fonts, um, animating menus, things like that. Um, that all takes up processor time and memory as well. Okay. So. One thing that you can do, Windows makes it easy so that you can just go in there and turn all those things off before you play a game. So if you don't like the fancy features, or if you don't want them so much, but you want your game to run better and whatever, you just yes. turn off some of this stuff. And yeah, okay. So how and do I do that? You can turn them back on later if you're, you know, if you want them back. So to get there, click Start. Right-click on my computer or computer. Go to Properties. There you go. Advanced System Settings. All right. And look at all those things. Wow. I guess there's a lot that is running that you don't even think about. Look at all that stuff there checked. But if you're just going to play a game, just select where it says adjust for best performance. Okay. Click that. Oh, everything goes away. Yep. And then say apply, and you'll notice things are going to look a little different. Okay. It's changing. Whoa, yeah. Changed to a gray bar okay. down here. The start button changed. Okay. So I click, click okay. okay. And okay again. That's correct. All right. So... Okay. Is that it, or what? Well, Anything else? Are we done? Your background also takes up a little bit. I mean, if you're really hardcore and you want every last ounce of memory, go in there and right-click on the Windows Display okay. uh, desktop, and then click Personalize, and then select a blank background. You do that by clicking Desktop Background. This could give you another megabyte or okay. so in memory. And then um, where it says Picture Location, click All the right. drop-down there, select solid colors all right oh cool and then click black let's because go with black black is the new pink hey the background has changed it's black and uh it's looking good well, i can already tell by my mouse i don't think it's 
ever moved this fast. It's looking good. I, I'm eager to play my game now. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't play your game just yet. Um, when you actually launch a game, most games have advanced display settings themselves. So you can go in right. there and tweak the performance of the game. Okay. So you typically when you use a lower display resolution, the game doesn't look as crisp, but it plays a lot better. It's a lot more smooth. So you want to try to find a comfortable display resolution that you can use for your game. Okay. Use, there's also lots of nice visual effects that you can usually play around with, like, uh, I don't know, shadows and things like that. You can either turn them off or you can have them on. And uh, just experiment with it. Have fun. Yeah, I, I know my game does have some of those settings, so I'll have to play with them. Mm -hmm. But I'm betting it's going to be much better. I can just tell. I mean, this makes me so happy just seeing how fast it's going right now. Oh, well, good. Cool. So anything else? Is that it? No, that's it. That's cool. it. You should be able to play your games in record time now and blow up all kinds of zombies. Oh, cool. So here we are. We've just shown you how to you know, speed up your computer, make it boot faster, run better when you're playing games. And we taught you how to do it for free. You don't have to pay anyone to do this. You can do it yourself with these same easy steps, and then you can kill zombies quickly, too. So I kind of want to get to that right now, so why don't you beat it? I got some, I got some well, enemies respect. to destroy. Yeah, go have fun. <laughs>